Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. 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 Spider-Man recently, Sony Pictures shared a new teaser and brought together the Spider-Man movies. He said that the eight live-action movies they have prepared so far will be released only in certain cinemas and that everyone should watch the old movies before a new development. Sony will never give up the rights of Spider-Man and will never let them go. It doesn't seem to have much intention. However, Sony is still trying to prevent Spider-Man movies from being watched in cinemas by carrying out various activities. Of course, there is nothing that concerns us here, because we know very well that there are Spider-Man movies on almost every digital platform. However, the reason I am preparing this video is the new development that Sony plans to announce. It will be about because Sony described the next five years as the Spider-Man era. Also, they will add some deleted scenes to the movies they will re-release in the cinema and make an extended edition. In other words, they will show a few movies both expanded and extended. There were already a lot of deleted sequences from New Away Home. Even if they added it wisely and released it again, they could get very good views. But if you remember, Remember, they used this chance by adding an unnecessary 11-minute additional scene. Sony Pictures was not interested in films that would win awards about Spider-Man. Sony's aim was to make blockbuster movies and they wanted to spend little money on them and earn a lot. No Way Home. They made so much money from the movie, but despite this, they did the visual effects of the scenes they shot before and brought them back to the cinema. That is, they added unnecessary dialogue scenes where visual effects were not used. So what was the reason for Sony to re-release the old movies? Because MC's Spider-Man 4 movie has now been approved. Now, this is by making the announcement. They will say that Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire will return one last time. Even if the event starts on April 15th and we watch a new movie every day, they will probably make this announcement at the end of April. Sony's current aim will be to create hype by making people watch the movies again. Thus, Toby and when Anne's comeback is announced, they want there to be a large audience that appreciates their work. But I think no matter what they do, people will be divided into two on this issue, as in everything else. One segment will be happy with this situation, while the other segment will never want this Spider-Man new a home movie reboot. It will be like a mess. And since Sony only aims for profit, the quality of MCU Spider-Man movies will have decreased. The only thing MCU aimed for was to bring street-level characters such as Dorir, Devil King Bane, and Scorpion. Thus, he would say that Spider-Man will have a simpler story in the four movies. Now, I think Spider-Man 4 is important in two different aspects. Firstly, at the end of the movie, TVA will take Tom Holland's Spider-Man and make it a part of Guardians of the Multiverse. The second important aspect is that they will reference Jesus, Sam, R's Toby Spider-Man series. They are still waiting for Amazing Spider-Man 3. But as I said, Toby's Spider-Man 4 movie seems much more possible than Amazing Spider-Man 3. Even if Andrew Garfey made a movie, Sony considered it unnecessary because it would not have an important place in Secret Wars. On the other hand, Toby's secret. She will be an important character in the Wars movie. However, Madame Webb has only one advantage over Kevin Feige and Marvel, and I want to share it with you now. Kevin Feige, who saw Sidney CV in the movie, wanted this girl to be in the MCD anyway. She is in the same movie with Zendaya in Sydney. He said that he could come to Marvel if he is included in Spider-Man's four movies, but they are thinking of bringing not only the two old Spider-Mans, but also Spider-Man, and maybe even Spider-Man 99 although it is a very difficult possibility because Sony and Marvel will always have Spider-Man again. He wants it to not be with the same names. As for Dakota Johnson in Madam Web, I don't think we will see this character again. Sidney Joy. At least he didn't call the movie terrible, that's why he was lucky. The script of Spider-Man 4 is in a terrible state right now, and the shooting will start very soon, but Marvel's Almost There is one nonsense he does in every movie and that is to prepare a movie without checking it. What they are doing is nothing but a waste of money and time. Four movies of Captain America were shot a year ago. That means the shooting was over, and those who watched the movie at the test screening said that the movie was terrible, so they went to reshoot. A lot of scenes were removed from the movie, and a lot of new scenes were added. As a result, the release dates of the movies were completely lost. If the four Spider-Man movies were not liked in the test screenings, they would have to reshoot, and this would be a waste of both time and money, but when we look at Sony, they are much more successful in this regard. It is a comfortable company. The Sony side thinks a little more with the KCK and Kit mentality. As long as people come to the movie and pay the money, and then they say, we don't care what they think. The Marvel side, on the other hand, generally tries to keep its quality above a certain standard since it is a cinematic universe. As a result, Spider-Man I was already hopeless about the movie for, but now I have become even more hopeless. Because when
when the studio could not find a director to direct the movie, they had to go back to the director of the old movies, so I think the shooting phase of Spider-Man 4 was a troublesome process, in every sense.